Plants are living organisms. They have different parts called organs. Each organ has a specific function. The parts of a plant include roots, stem, leaves, and the flower. These organs work together to enable the plant to carry out its life processes. Remember that groups of similar plant cells work together to form tissue. Similar tissues then work together to form an organ. All the different organs then work together to form the organism. In this case, the roots, stem, leaves and flowers work together to make up the plant. Roots. The roots of a plant help to keep the plant anchored into the ground. This prevents it from being blown away. Roots are also important for nutrition because they contain root hairs. These absorb water and minerals from the soil. The water and nutrients then travel through the plant. In some plants, the roots can also be used for food storage. Stem. The stem of a plant provides support and help to keep the plants upright. This is important because plants need to stay upright in order to absorb sunlight. The stem is also required for nutrition of the plant. This is because it transports the water and nutrients from the root to the leaves and flowers. So, after the roots have absorbed water and nutrients from the soil, the stem allows them to be carried up to the leaves. The leaves of a plant are very important, as this is where the process of photosynthesis takes place. Photosynthesis is the process in which leaves use sunlight, carbon dioxide and water to create glucose and oxygen. This is essential for the plant to survive and to grow. Therefore, the leaves are required for nutrition. Leaves are usually big and flat in order to absorb a lot of sunlight for photosynthesis. If you would like to learn more about the process of photosynthesis, then click the video here. Flower. Flowers are the reproductive organs of a plant. Flowers have petals which help to protect the parts of the flower and the petals are usually bright coloured and have a nice scent. This is important as it attracts pollinators. The flowers are also involved in producing seeds and fruit. Now let's look closely at the parts of a flower and what their functions are. As previously mentioned, flowers are the reproductive organs of a plant. Flowers have petals that protect parts of the plant. They are colourful and have a nice scent which attracts pollinators. The sepals are the parts that help to protect an unopened flower. Once the flower blooms, the sepal opens, as shown in the picture. Flowers have male and female parts which are required for the process of reproduction. Anther and filament are the male parts of a flower. We call this the stamen. As you can see, each consists of an anther that's held up on a filament. The anthers produce pollen grains. Pollen grains are vital for the process of pollination and reproduction of the plant. The stigma, style, ovary and ovule are the female parts of a plant. We call this the pistil. The stigma is the top of the female part of a flower. This is involved in collecting the pollen grains. A pollen tube grows through the style 
until it reaches the ovary. The pollen tube then fuses with the nucleus of the ovule to complete the process of fertilization. If you would like to learn more about the process of fertilization, then click the video here.